Welcome back to another episode of Warren Cali. In this episode, I'm going to detail a story, a tiny solo from A Trey Gangsta Crib. Michael Edward Meadows, also known as Tiny Solo, or Little Mikey, was born December 2nd, 1978. Tiny Solo grew up in South Central Los Angeles and grew up in a community most known as the A Trey Gangsta Crips. The A Trey Gangsta Crips are one of the largest black gangs on the west side of South Central and Los Angeles County in general. The A Trays operate out of one of the largest turfs. I covered them and their history in a previous episode. Check those out if you haven't. Growing up in that area, Tiny Solo would experience a lot and he would later join the A Trays. He became a frequent member of the Florence Western, Manchester, and Normandy Streets, and also St. Andrews Park. Tiny Solo attended LaSalle Elementary School, Horace Mann Middle School, and completed his high school in the California Youth Authority. With him being fully involved in the streets by a teenager, he would start committing crimes, and I would follow him the rest of his years. By 2023, Tiny Solo was already 45 and a well-known a Trey Gangster member, but he would get into a situation that would cost him his life. The incident occurred shortly before 1 a.m. on June 28th in the 7200 block of Southwestern Avenue. Officers were conducting a traffic stop for a red light violation in the area of Western Avenue and Florence Avenue in the A-Trey Gangsters turf. Officers pulled over a black 2006 Lexus in a parking lot of a jack-in-the-box. Video made public by the LAPD shows officers pulling over a driver of a car who was a 23-year-old man. After he steps out the vehicle, an officer is talking to him when suddenly gunfire erupts. Now I can't show the full video with YouTube guidelines, but the officers and the driver of that black Lexus were duffed for cover, looking around in an attempt to discover where the shooter was located. When officers heard and saw a male fire several shots, police said in a statement, several hours after the shooting, officers returned fire and the suspect was struck by gunfire. The Los Angeles Fire Department responded and pronounced the suspect dead at the scene. The suspect was Tiny Solo. He had a ghost gun and it was recovered at the scene and later booked as evidence. Police had earlier said as the officers were conducting a traffic stop, the suspect approached them on foot and opened fire, prompting them to return fire. Tiny Solo died to a fatal gunshot wound to the neck. It was not clear why he shot at the police or their direction, or if it was directed for them, or the driver of the Lexus, or a legal marijuana shop in the same direction. As the officers spoke with the driver of the Lexus, they heard multiple gunshots coming from an adjacent strip mall nearby. The officers turned their attention to the location of the gunshots and saw a man firing a gun. It was determined the man was walking toward an occupied, open business while firing multiple rounds from a pistol he was holding. That suspect was later identified as Michael Meadows. The officers immediately engaged Meadows, resulting in an officer-involved shooting. Meadows was struck by gunfire, dropped the pistol, and fell to the ground. Upon arrival of additional officers, Meadows was taken into custody without further incident. A portion of this incident was captured on the responding officers. Good morning, and according to police, that suspect was firing towards them. Take a look. The investigation continues here at Florence and Western, the intersection. Oh, well, now you can't see it, but it's behind there. Let's go to the video. This all happened just before 1 a.m. When LAPD patrol officers stopped a man for a traffic violation, the driver pulled into the parking lot of a strip mall on Western near Florence. And as officers were talking to that driver, they say, a suspect came around a corner and opened fire in their direction. Officers immediately shot back. Eventually, that suspect died. And it turns out the suspect police say was using a ghost gun. What police don't know is who or what the suspect was shooting at. Was it the officers or was it at a business right next to them? That business, say police, turned out to be an illegal cannabis dispensary that was open at the time obviously very dangerous right this is a very busy area this is an area was very heavily populated um, obviously he's shooting into a store whether it be the clothing store or the marijuana store as he said um, just very dangerous luckily there was officers there to stop that shooting 
Now, five people were taken into custody at the dispensary. They're being interviewed right now, and police say it is possible that the suspect didn't even know the officers were there when he started shooting. And again, he was either shooting at the officers, they say, or shooting at someone inside that dispensary. The investigation will continue here for the next a few hours at the very earliest. As for the suspect, he will be identified by the coroner. Reporting live, I'm Gigi Gross. During the investigation, police discovered an illegal marijuana dispensary and arrested six people. A month after a shooting, police dropped camera footage to the whole incident, and you can clearly see Tony Solo starting a shootout, and that led to him dying. The police were never charged with killing Tony Solo because it was clear that he was in fault. It was never clear why the situation happened or why he did what he did. This will conclude this episode. If you haven't already, make sure you check out my previous episodes. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.